A lot of you have requested that I do a video on Amelia Fart, so here we go. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health, and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell, because I make a ton of videos. Not only do I make a ton of videos, but did you know I have an Instagram? Go follow me on Instagram, at The Rewired Soul. I'm trying to get to 10,000 followers and we're doing good. We're doing really good. We're almost halfway there, everybody. And once we get halfway there, I might sing a song for you. I might do it. But anyways, go follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna be doing some giveaways, so make sure that you have notifications turned on. I'm gonna be giving away merch and books and all sorts of cool stuff, all right? But yeah, a lot of you send me suggestions for little uh, different YouTubers, and Amelia Fart comes up like all the time, all the time. And to be honest, I'm probably gonna make future videos and I need suggestions on topics that you want me to discuss, um, because I know of Amelia Fart from watching Elvis the Aliens video on her, and it was a pretty good video. And I, I subscribe to Amelia, but I don't watch all of her videos. I watch them here and there and all of that. So I have my own opinions, but in this video, I wanna talk about, is she a good role model? Um, just the other day, I was watching her video, The Future of My Channel, and it was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. And what I wanna do is, I wanna show a few clips, and honestly, there's some really powerful stuff just in the first two or three minutes of this video, and I wanna discuss it. I also wanna discuss a problem that I think a lot of YouTubers have that lead to depression and disconnection, which I'm gonna talk about at the end of this video, so make sure that you stay tuned, because if you're a YouTuber, or if you're just a person watching this video, like make sure that you stay tuned because I'm gonna give you some tips. Everyone has a purpose. And Oprah said something about, I don't know, you know, being of service to others, I think. And I feel that. And yes, I am awful and terrible and self-involved and so self-absorbed. And like, I have to stop just talking about how insufferable I am constantly. Just stop talking about it and just like do actions that make me feel better. So that first clip right there, I get questions about like my thoughts on self-deprecating -de humor, right? And it's, it's this balance, okay? Like if any of you have been subscribed to my channel for like, I don't know, any amount of time, you know I make fun of myself. I make fun of myself all the time. Like when I get haters in the comments, I still make fun of myself. It completely disarms people. So like, I, I, I dig it, but the balance comes from like, do you love yourself? Like, are you okay with yourself? Like, are you really trying to be mean to yourself? Like I've gotten to a place where I do love myself. You know what I mean? So what people say, it doesn't really hurt me. Like there are a few things that still like, kind of like tick me off, but not much, not much. Like I might make a video later on about like the one thing that still gets under my skin, but then I'm just giving people ammunition, so I don't know if I should do that. But like if you follow me on Twitter or whatever, like I, I tweet stuff out all the time because it's hilarious. Something I'm always trying to teach you guys is to quit caring so much what people think. And, and like if I cared about every single negative comment I got, like I wouldn't be able to make all the videos that I do. So Amelia Fart, like when she's talking about, you know, talking down to herself, like if you're somebody who struggles with this, I, I, I think that it's important to find the balance. And if, if you are really just talking down to yourself, like out loud, like you need to work on loving yourself and being a little bit more compassionate until you get to a point where it's not really affecting you in that negative way. Or just like accept myself and like be more confident, I don't know. Or like stop focusing on all my negative personality traits and just be like, you have negatives and you have positives and they're fine and just work every day to be better. I actually just talked about that, right? I actually just talked about that in my tips for how to be a better person in 2019 and and this is like, everything isn't great about us. Like nothing, like nobody, no human being on earth is perfect. And like, just acknowledging that, I swear to you, it will make your mental health so much better. When you acknowledge that you're not perfect and you're never going to be perfect, life gets amazing. We're all screw ups, we're all going to screw up. I talked about this in a video. In 2019, you're going to screw up a ton, all right? But the goal is, is like, we're trying to become a better person every single day. Not by a lot, but just by a little, okay? But what I would wonder with Amelia Fart, as well as all of you, like, do you fully believe that? Like, do you truly believe that? Right, because some of us, what I've noticed when working with clients or you know, just talking with friends or talking with some of you is that you know, 
we get it, but we only get it sometimes. Like, this, I have to have a daily reminder, like, okay, Chris, you're not perfect. And again, this isn't an excuse to go screw up all the time, but like cut yourself a little bit of slack and just realize that you're human and you're going to screw up. I know I'm gonna screw up, right? There's gonna be a day where some drama channel is gonna be like, the rewired soul exposed, ah, right? And I'm gonna have to make a big dumb apology to everybody and then I'm gonna move on with my life. Like I am somebody who screwed up for most of my life as a drug addict and alcoholic. Maybe I'm fortunate because I'm used to it, all right? Like when you're a drug addict and alcoholic who hits rock bottom, the only way to go is up. Like as long as I don't, don't relapse, there is no way in hell that I'm gonna screw up nearly as bad as I ever have in my life. There's things that I don't think are great about me, but I also have a really good intention overall for what I do and my actions. And sometimes I, maybe I forget or I stray, but I know what I want to do and I know how I wanna be of service. So this ties in with that last clip, right? Like going astray. So here's my recommendation to all of you is, actually there's two recommendations. The first one is mindfulness, all right? Mindfulness is knowing what's happening right now in the moment, okay? When we practice mindfulness, even for five or 10 minutes a day, it's training our brain to be more mindful throughout the day. So the way I like to describe this is like, know who you want to be, right? Or have a rough idea of who you want to be. Maybe you can even write this down in a journal. Like, do you wanna be kind? Do you wanna be generous? Do you wanna be loving? Do you wanna be forgiving? What do you wanna be? Like, write those traits down. Write the traits down of who you want to be, okay? And mindfulness will help you every single day saying, okay, am I uh, getting closer to the person I wanna be or am I drifting further away from that person that I wanna be? The second tip for that is every morning, wake up with an intention. I always tell you guys, wake up in the morning and try to be a little bit better than you were yesterday. So what's your intention for the day, right? Maybe you have this list of the person that you wanna be next to your bed or in your bathroom on the mirror, right? And you look at that thing when you start your day and say, okay, what am I going to do to get closer to being that person? And this is very helpful because if you pause, if you pause throughout your day and ask yourself, if I do this thing I wanna do, is it gonna get me closer to the person I wanna be or further away from the person I wanna be, right? So like when you're about to send that dumb tweet out or that dumb response in a comment or that, that sassy text message, right? Ask yourself, is this bringing you closer to who you wanna be or further away from that person, okay? Set your intention and be mindful. I want to try to make things that make me feel free and empowered and maybe hopefully make other people feel that. And what if while trying to make me accept myself more, what if you could try to make other people accept themselves more too? What if we could try to make us feel more free, all of us in our own ways? It's important that we realize that we're influencers. We're all influencers, right? I've talked about this in some of my Tana Mojo videos, like, I hate when YouTubers, I absolutely despise, like, you see so many YouTubers are like, I hate the word influencer, not Amelia Fart, I haven't heard her say that, but like, you know who I'm talking about. There are so many YouTubers who are like, I hate the word influencer. Hello, you are influencing people. You have massive followings, followings. you are influencing people. And what Amelia Fart's talking about here is like, she, she knows, like she wants to inspire people. Like, here's the thing. I think a lot of people ask me to do videos on Amelia Fart, and you can let me know down in the comments if I'm completely off base with this. It's because she's a little bit weird, right? A little bit strange. And that's awesome, right? She embraces that. And I think one of Amelia Fart's best qualities is like, is showing people like, it's okay to be weird. It's okay to be different. That is where I get confused with Amelia Fart. It seems like she's constantly doing almost like exposure therapy for herself, and I'm not diagnosing her. I don't know Amelia Fart. She liked one of my tweets. That's about as close as we are. But, like, she's purposely being weird she, to a massive audience. So many people know who she is, right? But it's, it's also interesting because she does that self-deprecating humor that we talked about. So, like, is she confident or does it kind of wane? Like, I know with some of us, like, our issue is the consistency with our mental state, right? Some days I love myself, some days I hate myself. Some days I'm confident, some days I'm insecure. Some days I'm outgoing, some days I have social anxiety. You see what I mean? And that's cool too. We are constantly in this state of, of just moving with our emotions, you know? A lot of the times it's just that we're not mindful of it. You know what I mean? Like this morning, for example, 
Um, I don't know what it was, but my, my anxiety was acting up. It was going crazy. I meditated for a little bit. I went to the mall. I was worried that it was gonna get even worse because crowded places mess me up. You know what I mean? But like, I haven't had anxiety in, I don't know, weeks, like like bad anxiety, you know? So like, I understand that and I accept that, that I'm going to be changing every single day. And also depending on my life circumstances, like if you guys have been around my channel for a while, like if you haven't got this yet, please understand this. A lot of your mental health is dependent on what is happening in your life. So that's why we gotta work on ourselves because it's a lot easier for us to fix us than it is to fix every other situation that's gonna come our way. Every now and then life is going to slap us in the face. We're gonna have bills. We're gonna have arguments we're gonna have you know losses we're gonna get fired we're gonna whatever it is right the most we can do is prepare our mental state to deal with that nonsense the best we can when it comes our way but i want to do good i want to try to help make things feel more free to make myself feel more free and not just myself feel more free that last clip that i want to that i'm showing is where i want to talk about connection all right so I see so many YouTubers struggle with this, right? You can see this kind of look of confusion in Amelia Fart's eyes, and you see it with a lot of YouTubers, right? Am I connecting with anybody? Am I connecting with my fans? Am I connecting with my audience? Am I really helping anybody? And there's a good way to find out. So I scrolled through, what you're seeing right now is I scrolled through the comments of this video. Amelia Fart has over 100,000 views on this video, and I don't see any comments hearted, I don't see any comments replied to. And I'm like, what are you doing, Amelia? What are you doing, girl? Now, on my um, Illymation video that's blowing up, it's almost at 700,000 views at the time of this recording. I've got a lot of comments and they're like, and people are like, are you, com are you hearting every single comment? Or like, they'll make a joke to see if I'm really hearting the comments and I'll reply to them too. And people are blown away like, look at this video. It has 700,000 views. And through like this clip, I think I missed maybe one or two, right? Some of them I don't heart if it's like something that's really problematic because I don't, I don't need that in my life, right? But there's reasons why I do this. And there's reasons why like, I suggest all YouTubers do this. Something I noticed when I first kind of started, you know, talking about mental health in the realm of uh, YouTubers is that I noticed this disconnection, right? I noticed that as people grow, they get disconnected from their audience. You see what I mean? Their audience becomes numbers. And then YouTubers wonder why they're so dehumanized. It's because they're not connecting. You guys, like, I can't stress to you enough. A lot of my day is not that crazy. If I'm just sitting on the couch or even if I'm editing a video or if I'm just like waiting in line, hell, if I'm in the bathroom, I'm refreshing my comments and I check them out and I read them, right? And like, I want you guys to know that I'm in there and I'm connecting with all of you. Like the whole reason I have this channel is to help you. So why am I not connecting with you? Because as my channel continues to grow, I want to make sure that I do not change and I don't forget that every single person watching these videos is a human being. But the thing is, is that a big cause of depression, and I talked about this in my bird box review right like a big cause of depression is disconnection from people like so many youtubers try to say that you know youtube um can become a very depressing career because you do it alone you do it isolated we choose to do that when i see youtubers like don't get me wrong amelia fart has over half a million subscribers you can't reply or heart to everybody but like when 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 we start disconnecting from our audience, we're causing a lot of our own sadness, our, a lot of our own depression. And that's something that I wanna make sure doesn't happen to me. So I always try to engage with you guys. I've mentioned this before, like every day I have a goal. I have a goal to have a real conversation with at least, at least a couple of you, right? You never know who that is. I just like a DM pops up, I'm not doing anything. I'm like, okay, I'll reply to this one. We have a chat, boom. I move on with my day. I wanna make sure that I do not forget who you are. I was talking to another YouTuber friend of mine uh, yesterday who is, is huge, has a massive audience, and I was talking to them about the exact same thing. I'm like, you know, like, you gotta connect with these people. You got to. Like, I swear to God, if you are a YouTuber watching this video right now, like, I, I had another YouTuber, Justin Wang, actually comment on my rice gum video, and he says he's gonna try to, you know, up it to two videos a week, and that's awesome. I think he can do it. But you guys, like, I'm here to, like, not only help you, but help other YouTubers, and I'm also here to eliminate excuses. There is absolutely no reason, no reason on earth that I can make the amount of videos that I do 
heart and reply to comments the way that I do and other people can't. I am a very busy man. Right after I record, edit, and upload this video, I'm heading to my son's birthday party. After that, I'm coming home to clean the house because my girlfriend and her two friends are coming over and we're hanging out with them. You know what I mean? And I guarantee you're still gonna see me hearting and replying to comments. So if you are a YouTuber watching this, or even if you're a fan watching this, have these YouTubers get connected. Amelia Fart, if you ever watch this, start hearting those comments, girl. It makes people's day. Like, I talked about this in a Shane Dawson video I made a while back when he commented on one of my videos. Like, the smallest acts that we do can absolutely make somebody's day. Like, over on Instagram, by the way, all of my new artists who are following me, make fan art of me. I will share the hell out of it. All day, every day, I wanna stay connected with all of you because it helps me with my mental health. All right, but let me know your thoughts about um, Amelia Fart. Like, if I didn't make it really clear, I think Amelia Fart is a good role model. If you disagree with that, let me know. Give me some videos where I can look at them, you know? Like I said, I'm not like a Amelia Fart expert, all right? Anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge, huge thank you for everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to support what I'm doing here on this channel and get some extra perks and exclusive videos, click or tap on that Patreon icon right there, all right? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.